Don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you like the content, if you're a hater, just click the X at the right of your screen. If you want the access to exclusive content, follow us over there onto Patreon. All of the links to access my content are in the description box below. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for being a part of my channel. I really and truly appreciate each and every one of you guys. I just wanted to let you guys know what is going on over there on Patreon. I have added new tiers on to my patreon with extended access to me um i have not actually offered these readings before but now um i'm doing one-on-one -on -one phone calls so feel free to either upgrade your subscription or to go ahead and join that third or fourth tier um the fourth tier is where i have the one-on-one -on -one readings um again thank you so much for all of your time energy love and support and i really appreciate you guys bye what is up you guys thank you so much for being a part of my channel i really and truly appreciate each and every one of you guys we're gonna go ahead and jump straight into your reading um y'all know i had put a post up the other day to see what kind of you know questions readings that y'all wanted me to look into um, so we are still doing love because it popped up too many times this week for us not to. We're going to be hitting the relationships, the marriages, the live-in lover. Okay, that's what we'll call it, the live-in lovers. Okay, um, we're going to see what's going on, like if it's going stale, what you need to know, how you can spice things up. I am going to tell you because I said that this one could get spicy. All right. Um, so I probably will be pulling cards. This reading will not be going on YouTube. Um, or I guess I could leave the, uh, those cards off to the end. But either way, these are going to be different, a little bit different messages. Okay. Someone, uh, specifically requested it and we are going to look into it and see what you need to know. All right. So how is your person feeling about you right now? See how your person is feeling about you right now. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I heard, I heard this. I heard this. Before I even got a chance to really look into it, I heard, is this bitch about to leave me? <laughs> I'm so sorry. I am not calling you that. Okay. But that's what I heard when I looked at this. Okay. We've got contracts, agreements, and somebody looking like they may be fed up and calling the U-Haul truck. Okay. So, um... It's looking like how your person feels about you right now is you may be weighing up your options. Look, and options and choices being on the bottom. Um, they may kind of be quest questioning in this time. I heard if you really love, if you really love me or yeah, and I'm looking down, that looks like that too. Okay. So if you really love me, are you really in this? Are you, act are you, are you done trying? Okay. So your person in this time is starting to feel like you know i heard where is the love start playing all right so i don't even know who is that black eyed piece where is the love oh my goodness okay so how is your person feeling about you right now the ones living lovers okay with death out here plans and word around town I feel like your connection, your person's worried that you're talking about y'all's business outside of y'all's household, outside of y'all's relationship. Who are you telling? And then I did start hearing whose bed have your boots been under. So your person may actually feel like you are um, <clears throat> looking outside of the connection in this time or that you're about to, okay? Um, if you've dealt with a Scorpio in your past, they are heavily focused on if you are actually... Look, and Scorpio's out here twice, okay? Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel like there's something about... Um, someone's really worried that maybe you're in communication with somebody who you said that you were done with. Or you are um, looking back on your past connections, okay? Um, I feel like... <laughs> Your person is a little bit nervous right now, okay? They feel like you are looking back on your past partners, your past connections, and actually replaying certain events and trying to work out in your head whether you would go back to them or not, okay? That's what I see here. 
I see the fact that they feel like you may have had options in the past, that you may have closed out prematurely, and you may be making secret plans to do, you know, just that, go back, because I went straight to the heart and keys, so I feel like, you know, um, I feel like whoever this is, is somebody here who goes straight to when they get mad or they're ready to go, like, try, tired of thinking of something, tired of having the same conversation, they get their keys and they run, okay, so they feel like that's what you're about to do, okay, they feel like that you're making plans to do this, um, and I really don't want to even give this message, but I see it, so I have to, okay, um, I feel like they think you have somebody that is on the outskirts of this partnership that you may be talking to, and you're trying to make plans to, you know, move on from them, they're worried about who all knows about this, what all is going on with this, how can they get more information about this, okay, because I don't really see them as wanting it to be over, over i really don't but i do see like it's like if this ends like there will be no second chances and i find it really crazy that this is what we're talking about in long-term partnerships and connections okay um the living lover right <laughs> your living lover feels like you may be one foot in one foot out or one mistake away or one uh miscommunication away from or one i hear one more motherfucking thing about this shit. why is this so aggressive it got so aggressive so quick okay uh i feel like this could be something that is escalating okay there may even be uh something about like i definitely keep going to car house uh, contracts and closure. Okay. So I feel like there's somebody here who may be getting fed up about, you know, certain things not changing. Okay. Maybe changes, uh, somebody should have made certain changes and they weren't made. Um, there's something that's still longstanding, something still on the table looking at, like somebody's tired of looking at it. Somebody's worried about who all's saying things. It's almost giving, um, a little bit of paranoia around who all's talking about this. Um, I, I feel like somebody's getting overwhelmed with it as well. All right. Whether this is you or your person. Um, I feel like there's a, this level of, I want my peace and I don't feel like this is it. It's kind of what I'm getting. <clears throat> Let me see. Is this based in... Okay, so this is how they feel like you're... How they feel about you right now is you're ready to go. Are you actually ready to dip? Are you actually ready to leave? We've got helpful people. If you believe on the bottom and no okay so this could be just playing out in this person's subconscious so they feel like you are you know telling all the all y'all's family all y'all's friends about y'all's business and they hate it they hate it they hate it they hate it okay um they have come up with a lot of different scenarios in their head about what is going on here, what's next, and it's like having to figure out what to believe and what to not to believe, okay? They may have heard certain things and are piecing things together in this time, and they may be going a little bit overboard with it, um, <clears throat> but there may also be certain things that are coming out in this next little while that may not actually be true um i feel like there may be specific conversations that are needing to be had okay everything needs to be addressed everything needs to be on the table if you have been kind of withholding certain information now is the time to actually speak on it okay you want to speak on it before anybody else ends up speaking on it because i feel like this person is worried that you're telling people and that you're making plans to do certain things behind their back are they going to start doing the same thing because they're feeling this way? Because that's kind of given, like, is this a bit, is this projection? Are they going to start doing this because they are feeling this way? Okay. We've got unlikely and we've got compromise. No. Okay, so just because this person is feeling like this is what you're doing in this, Tom, they are 
uh, like I ask if they're if they're actually doing this because they feel like you are. I don't feel like they are. I feel like they are trying to figure out a solution. Okay. Um, this person that you're dealing with, this person who you're living with, okay, they want a solution to this situation, okay? They want to come, you know, and get on the same page with you. They're wanting this to level out, okay? Emotions to level out or the situation to level out. I don't feel like they're actually ready to split if that was what you were worried about, okay? Because I definitely get, you know, that they think that you're about fed up and ready to move. But I feel like they see that they still want to be with you. That they there is compromise that is like they, they will compromise with you, whoever this is. They do love you, okay? They will compromise. If there is a situation going on, there just needs to be a conversation about it, okay? And y'all could even be in having um, fights over um, living, not living, I about said living will, living arrangements, a house, a car, vehicle, something tangible. There could be issues that you may be coming into with this person around those topics, okay? And what I am getting is you need to make sure that y'all are discussing these things with each other and not kind of just harboring and holding on to these energies and just dealing with it later, okay? It's almost like sitting on these feelings, emotions, not speaking on it, making yourself feel freaking crazy, because there's no, like, that's what's not happening right now. There is no compromise, okay? Um, I feel like your team is telling you in this time that you need to figure out how you can voice your emotions before this escalates any further. Because I feel like it does, because of how I started feeling that aggress aggression when I started saying all that stuff to begin with, I feel like there is one, one of y'all, one of y'all is to that extent of being fed up, okay? Um, and I feel like there may even be talks of maybe needing counseling or having a third party sit in on a situation. I'm not going to say that that wouldn't be good for this dynamic. If you do have issues getting on the same page and like expressing yourself, a counselor could be necessary for you in this time. But I do see that you may actually pull somebody in to kind of deal with this. And there's one of y'all who is not cool with people being in y'all's business. Okay. I feel like they don't like people being in your business they don't want people in your business but if it was okay you guys um that's where i'm going to go ahead and cut it off um if you would like to have access to the extended version of this video go ahead and follow me on to patreon the link is in the description box below or you can access the rest of this reading through um, the membership for youtube anyways love you guys so very much and i'll see y'all later